Hello, everyone. Joji here. I am going to be recording going through the app setup process. And in order to show some of this process, I'm going to be using my own internal account called Painterly Impressions. As you can imagine, I like to paint. Sometimes I record myself painting and I want to monetize some of these videos for pretend and for the purposes of training. So this is Painterly Impressions. I have my storefront set up. Mobile apps and TV apps are coming soon. This is my catalog, so it's all ready to go. And I'm working with Uscreen to set up my apps. Now, I'm of course gonna be referring to the app setup requirements throughout this process. And specifically today, I am going to go through the Google developer account setup, okay? So I'm signed in and going to refer to the help documentation to create my Google developer account. Now, this is a four-step process. Let's begin. So the first thing that I need to do is log into my Google account and go to the Google Play, Google Play Console. Okay, Google Play Console go to the Google Play console. So I'm, I see that I'm signed in, painterlyimpressions at gmail.com. That's my email and support email for this account. I'm specifically going to do this as myself. I'm, I'm not an organization, I'm just doing this for myself. So let's get started. Developer name, a public name for your developer account. This is what's shown in the Google Play Store as the developer's name in your app store listing. Okay, so let's call this Joseph Guerra. Contact name is also Joseph Guerra. Okay, my contact email address is painterlyimpressions at gmail.com. Are you sure? Yep, I'm sure. Okay. I am in the United States, okay. And I'm going to enter my address here. I will enter my contact phone number, include the plus symbol for the country. We'll use this to send information about your account. It will not be shown to users. Okay, let's verify the phone and the website. Okay, agree to the terms, create and pay. Great, I will pay the $25. All right, it was created. Okay, now it looks like I'm signed in and I see this notification to verify my identity and it could take two days. I am going to start this process and do it off camera because there's probably some important information here, but I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, looks like my verification is in process here. Got it. So let's come back to the help documentation. So we're submitting app requirements. We're creating a Google account. We just created our developer account. This is step one of four. And now I'm going to go over to step two, review Google account developer settings. Okay. And let's keep going. Okay. So it looks like my verification is complete. And interestingly enough, I got an email and that only took about 10 or 15 minutes. So let's keep going. Got it. Okay, so the next step is to set up a payments profile. Okay, so in set up payments profile, create payment profile. And it looked like it already uh, has my identity information and I happen to be setting up as an individual. So let's select that. Individual account. Okay, and it looks like it's already grabbing uh, my legal business information that I got verified and did. So now let's keep going. The business name. So this is Paint Early 
impressions. And I do have a website. Give that. What do I sell? So even though the website's about uh, art and painting, let me scroll down. You know what? We're going to call this internet network and digital media because it's videos about painting. And we will call this our painterly impressions for the support email, credit card statement name. I'll use the same as painterly, painterly impression. Oh, it looks like I can only do a couple things here. Let's see. I guess that's just what we got. Painterly impressions. Let's see what this help us. This text will be appended with Google and appears on your buyer's statement. So maybe we can, great, submit. So that is the successfully submitted payment profile. There's just a couple more steps that I want to do in the payments profile that include setting up the bank and setting some tax information and in the payments profile, I'm going to enter in my bank account information in the how to get paid, add payment method. And this is bank information. Now I'm gonna do this off camera just because it's a lot of personal information and I'll let you know how it goes. Great news, I was able to add my bank account to the Google Play Console payments profile and it only took a few moments. I entered in my info and then was able to immediately verify my bank. And now I have this how I get paid here. Okay, I'm going to proceed with the step to set up the sales tax information. And I have no sales tax set. So I'll manage this. Because I'm in the United States, I'm going to edit the United States use the Google tax data for all states and save. Great, use Google data for all states. And just to check, I'm gonna come back to the payments profile here. You have taxes set for Canada and the United States. Great, so let's keep going. The next step is to invite Uscreen user to your developer account. So, well, we are already in the council. We'll go to users and permissions, invite a new user, invite new user. And the address according to the help documentation is OTT at uscreen, okay? We will not have them expire so that they can always sign in. Permissions, all right, permissions, account permissions, admin all, send invite, invite user. Okay, so they are admins, invite user. They will be invited to this developer account. Great, now they are invited. Okay, the next step, according to the Uscreen help documentation, we created our account, we set up our payment profile and invited Uscreen. Next, we have to enable API access, okay? So after creating our account, we have to create a service account and share a JSON key. Okay, let's do it. So back in our console here, we will go to API access, choose a project to link agree to the terms and services. I agree. Create a new project. Save. Now I'm going to scroll down, create a new service account. Click on go to cloud platform. This is opening in another tab, and I see that I'm in the service account area. We will agree we're in the United States. Continue. Okay. Now we will create a service account at the top. Create service account. 
let's see, we will call the service account use screen. And there's a big long list of things there. That looks like the service account. Create and continue. And we select a role and we will select owner. Continue. And we will do done. Okay, so we created our uScreen service account. And I'm going to go into this account, keys, add key, create new key, JSON, create, save, and close. So now I have to send this key to OTT at uScreen. Okay. Now there's just one more step, grant access to the service account on the Google Play Council. So if you follow the steps, we still have the Google Play Console open in the tab. Okay, I'm gonna just press done there. Service account refreshed, great. And now I see this grant access down at the bottom, grant access. Admin all, invite user, send invite. Great. So now to review, to make sure that we set this all up correctly in the users and permissions, we now see the OTT email, we see my email, and we also see the API user. So that was a lot of steps. And I just want to take a moment and summarize what we've done so far. So back here in the help documentation, we have created an individual Google developer account. We created a payment profile. We invited uScreen as a user to the development account. We downloaded that JSON service key, and then we created that service account in the Google Play Console. The full process of the Google Developer account setup is completed, and the uScreen OTT team will have everything that they need in order to build my apps.